today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this really fun vampy look. I love how this warm rose gold pairs with a really dark purple lip. I think it's so fun and wintry. Today's video is special because it is sponsored by NARS. I'm going to be sharing the NARS unfiltered cheek palettes with you guys. I'm using them in today's video. This is unfiltered one and then this one is unfiltered two. Unfiltered two is actually my personal favorite. These palettes are awesome. They come with a ton of different blushes, bronzers, highlights, whatever you want to use these for. They have matte and shimmer shades. I like unfiltered two because it's more suitable for my skin tone. Unfiltered one is really beautiful though. I mean, it's perfect for those of you with maybe medium to deeper skin tones. Unfiltered two actually has my favorite NARS highlight of all time, which is hot sand. It's this one right here. I love this highlight. So when I found out it was going to be in this palette, I got so excited. It's, I love it. They really are fun palettes. Unfiltered 1 is a little bit more warm and Unfiltered 2 has more cooler shades. This blush in the shade Exhibit A, I wish I could wear this on my cheeks. This would be an amazing eyeshadow for me. But if you have deep skin, this must look stunning on the cheeks. You can create so many different looks with this. You don't have to use them on your face only. I mean, I used two of these shades as eyeshadow today. They're really fun and they have really fun packaging too. But anyway, I really love how this tutorial came out. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eyelids and I'm going in with this eyeshadow from Morphe. It is the ES89 and I'm taking this color into my crease and I'm really going to focus this color in my crease because I'm only really using a few eyeshadows. So I want to make sure that this color is nice and diffused and very pigmented in my crease. And then I'm going to go in with this ColourPop single eyeshadow in the shade Lala. It's a really pretty rose gold and I'm going to pop this on my entire lid. I'm then going to take that same Morphe eyeshadow we used earlier and I'm going to use this to blend out that Lala shade just so that there are no harsh lines or harsh edges and everything is nice and blended. I'm going to take this single eyeshadow by NARS. This one is called Galapagos and I'm going to kind of use this as an eyeliner. I've done this in my videos in the past but I'm just going to focus this really close to my lashes and create a soft faded eyeliner look just so that it looks a little bit deep closer to the lashes. Makes it look a little bit more smoky. I really love doing this. I'm then gonna take that same Galapagos eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pack some of this on the outer corners just so that it looks a little bit deeper in the outer corners and a little bit more smoky. I'm also taking my time with applying this eyeshadow because it is a dark brown so I don't wanna apply too much too quickly but I just go back and forth applying a little bit at a time and then I went back in and blended out the eyeshadow some more with my brush okay so I'm gonna move on to the face before I finish up my eyes I'm gonna take my Glossier Priming Moisturizer and I'm gonna prime my skin with this and then the foundation I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation and I'm going to apply this to my entire face For concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes to hide my dark circles but to also highlight my face. I'm also applying this on my nose, in between my eyebrows, on my chin, just so that everything is nice and even and highlighted. To set my concealer, I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to apply this everywhere I um, applied some concealer, but I'm also going to set the rest of my face with this powder because this foundation is a little bit too tacky for me, so I always make sure that I set it, so I'm not only setting my concealer, but I'm also setting my foundation. <laughs> Okay, to finish up the eyes, I'm going to take this Jouer eyeliner in the shade Matte Plum and I'm going to apply this to my waterline. I'm going to apply a lot of this because I will blend it out with a pencil brush. I want the purple to show up a lot, so I just took my pencil brush and smudged out the eyeliner just to make it a little bit more smoky and not so perfect. I like it to look a little bit more smudged. I'm going to go into the NARS Unfiltered One palette and I'm going to take this mauve shade called Out There and I'm going to use this to blend out the purple eyeliner I just put down to make it look a little bit more mauve and bring out the purple tones in the eyeliner. 
And then I'm gonna go back into the NARS Galapagos eyeshadow and just focus this on the very outer corners of my eyes, just like the top lid. I'm pretty much mimicking what I did on the top. For mascara, I just applied a ton, a ton of mascara. I used the Maybelline Plumped Up Colossal Volume. And then to highlight my brow bone, I took that same NARS Unfiltered one palette and I took the shade Watch Me and I used that to highlight underneath my brow bone and then I went into the Unfiltered 2 palette and I took the Hot Sands highlighter and I applied this to my inner corners to highlight. And then to finish up my face, I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm going to take the NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm going to use this to bronze but also contour my face a little bit. For blush, I'm mixing two colors. I'm going to take the shade Take Over from the Unfiltered 1 palette and then I'm going to take this peachy shade from the Unfiltered 2 palette. This one is called Fame and I'm just mixing them both together and popping them on my cheeks to create a peachy bronze blush. And then for highlight, I'm going to take my favorite, the NARS Hot Sand Highlight and I'm going to pop this on the tops of my cheekbones and on my nose just to highlight. I love this shade. I apply a lot of it, but I really like it. And then to finish off the look, I'm applying my lip color. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Hutch. And that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.